And a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody, as once more we are going to do the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. So we're going to sim through, of course, that's not where we're really getting to. You'll see where we're getting to in just a second. As June 5th, hey, you guys should know what this means, the first year player draft. So the Blue Jays pick an 8th this year, of course, after that finish last year, that's why they get a pick here. And it looks like we're going to go with the 8th pick here. Um, needs for the Blue Jays going into the draft, definitely closing pitching if we can get it, that would be great. So you see here Ray Ramirez, uh, Lou Lewis is looking pretty good over there at closing pitcher. Uh, yeah, second base should pick up Daniel, Daryl Gwynn, but, uh, Todd Loomis, uh, decisions, 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 you know what, Lou Lewis, MLB ETA of 2016, he'll be ready, Casey Jansen will be moving on, best pick I can make there. Alright, hitting this 8th spot in the second round now, and not much to choose from, we'll choose Dave Lewis, he looks like he could be alright at an 89, but only about 20% accuracy on that 89, that could be, that could be brutal. And we'll keep picking here guys. As who's up next? We'll look through all this. Looks like it ain't getting any better. It's just going lower, so might as well pick who to pick. Who to pick? Cedric Flood, maybe. Yes. Okay. So round three is done. Move along to round four. And Paul V or William Yokoyama, and we'll go with Palpy. Into round five now, and what do we have left to pick from Anthony Oka? These guys don't look good at all. Nothing's good. Uh, we'll go with Stephen Lincoln. Yeah, you know what, he could be a gamble, but we could definitely get something good out of him. Uh, that in the Colorado YouTube Stars franchise, I had one good kid, so never hurts, never hurts. First base, and Iwamura, Orlando Navarra. Yeah, we'll go. That's pretty. We got one more selection, it looks like, here, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, Lennon Iwamura is going to be our next selection. That'll wrap it up this year for the 2014 first year player draft. So, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, where is it? Nope, not this one, that one. And Lou Lewis. Oh, boom. A potential 68 overall. Cannot argue with that. That is the new closer for the AAA team next year, hopefully. Of course... That'll put Ruiz down back to double A, but whatever. Or he can stay up in triple A and be the setup man. We're going to give this guy a big pay raise because he needs it. We want him to stick around. Go Lou Lewis. That's going to be fun to say, guys. And another Lewis, Dave Lewis. I guess it could be Lou Louis. That too. But we'll go with Lou Lewis. Stephen Lincoln. And you know what, the rest of these guys, there's no point to sign them really. They're going to be useless depth players anyways, and we've already gotten up enough good depth that has a B or better rating. So we're going to jump into the game here. R.A. Dickey is starting for the Blue Jays against Drew Smiley. Dickey on a bit of a cold streak, but at 79 overall, so not bad. He, you do, Everyone's commented already, he does fall apart after this season so I've been watching him carefully and he's been steadily falling so if you didn't catch who we are doing player lock for it's a uh, a man that the Jays have been putting a lot of faith in over the past quite a few years Mr. Adam Lind himself so we'll jump right into that guys and we'll get going right away here as soon as it loads you see the Blue Jays are tied with the Rays atop the AL East that's kinda not quite something that's actually happening but this point in the season, the Jays were atop the AL East, so 
We're staying steadily close. Reyes look round out, and now with Encarnacion on first, Adam Lind will get a chance to bat. He's been way better of a home player than an away player. So on the road, he's got to maybe come up with a good performance against, yeah, a left-hander. So that's rough, but he's going to follow this one back. Now, of course, we're DH, so there won't be any fielding in this one, thankfully. And this one's going to be right up in a happy spot, but that's just not going to do anything. As it's just ground out, and the Detroit Tigers will get a chance to bat, but of course we aren't going to ever watch them bat in this one. As Adam Lind will take his second at bat of the day, 245 average now after that ground out in the first. And the pitch. And it'll be a slider inside that misses for a ball. It's 1-1 between the Blue Jays and the Tigers right now, just in case you guys haven't seen the score yet. And Lind will swing right through a slider. He's just too early on it. That's two straight sliders. Smiley, I, I have never really watched him pitch outside of the games he's pitched against the Blue Jays, so I don't know much about him. But he'll he'll allow Lind to rope one over Cabrera into right field. And that'll be a base hit for Lind. Of course, with slow runners, what do we do? We fast forward to the next appearance. And Juan Francisco grounds out, or flies out, or whatever that was. And another fly out, and that'll end the inning. So now 2-1 Blue Jays here, as Lindell stepped to the plate in the top of the sixth with a chance to get on base and maybe have an impact here. Maybe score a run or something. And he'll miss on that slider again. Man, that slider is wicked tonight for Smiley. And there, oh, Lynn just misses a for sure double as he falls it off into the seats on a slider. I was right there. Now, oh, just outside. And now the pitch, and it'll be down. So a heck of a bat already, two and two. Two good chances to get something in play, and then two balls. Now three balls, so it'll go to three and two. Full count now. Juan Francisco on deck, hitting only 208 for the Jays in in the place of Brett Laurie over there at third base. Of course, Laurie's injured right now, but should be back fairly soon, probably in the next episode or so. And now, pitch, and bang! There goes Lind, and he drives that into right field. That's two hits against a lefty in three at-bats. That's not your typical Adam Lind. I am afraid. And it looks like we'll keep fast-forwarding. That's no fast forward again. Deonor Navarro, what are you going to do? Strike out. Deonor Navarro strikes out. God damn. We're on to the next at bat for Adam Lind. Two for three with two singles, as you both, as you have all seen. And now he's facing a righty, and he has a good chance to tear this up, and he'll miss on the gas. That could have been incredible if. He would have caught up to that. That would have been a home run for sure. Now, oh, he gets eaten up by that high fastball. That was brutal by Lind. Now he just drops it in there. He'll go over to first, and that'll be an out. So he does better against the lefty than the righty all night, and that'll end the game as R.A. Dickey, as I talked about at the beginning of the game, is the star of the game, the player of the game. So please subscribe, watch the last episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching. So long from Yak City.